thank you for joining me around the fireside tonight. My name is Joe, and I'm here to tell you a story. A story about a brave pirate searching for buried treasure. A story about imagination and how a little bit of help can go a long way. I would like to thank the author, Adrian Summerson, for allowing me to read his lovely little book. Should you wish to purchase this for yourself, you can find his Facebook page with the same name as this book and contact him there. Please like, follow and subscribe to Tales by the Fireside. Every interaction truly means the world to this channel. Now, get comfortable, let go of the daylight and join me for our story. Pirates Don't Clean Their Teeth by Adrian Summerson Ben knew today would be a great day. There was no school, so he had all day at home. Ben decided to get dressed. He put on his stripy t-shirt, he put on his baggy black trousers, and he put on his special black belt. He put on his eye patch, his hat with a feather in it, and his hook. Aha, me hearties, today I be a pirate, said Ben. Mum was already downstairs, enjoying a quiet cup of coffee. Aha, Mum, I be sailing on the seven seas today, said Ben. Well, you'd better have some breakfast first, said Mum. Pirates don't eat breakfast, said Ben. They do in this house, said Mum. After a hearty breakfast of salt beef, seawater and limes, Ben decided that it was about time to go pirating. Aha, Mum, said Ben. I be off for a life of pirating and searching for buried treasure. Good luck, said Mum. But don't you need a treasure map? Mum's right, thought Pirate Ben. So he set to work. He drew a map full of mountains, deserts, swamps and volcanoes. Deep canyons guarded by dragons and elephants lurking in forests. And there, just past Blind Man's Bluff, he drew a skull and crossbones. Because X marks the spot. Dad came downstairs. He had a fine pirate's beard this morning. Ben's a pirate this morning, said Mum. Oh, said Dad. He's going searching for treasure, said Mum. I see, said Dad. I'm just going to the shop, said Mum, winking. Right, said Dad. And I be off to find me treasure, said Ben, holding his map out. Good luck, said Dad. But don't you need a pirate ship to sail in? Dad's right, thought Pirate Ben. So he set to work. He salvaged a big cardboard box and made portholes, a mast and sails, and a Jolly Roger flag, and a plank, and a figurehead, and another flag, and some more portholes, and a wheel, and a cannon, and an anchor. That, said Dad, is a very impressive pirate ship. It's a very impressive pirate ship, said Mum. She'd come back from the shops. I'm just going in the garden now, said Mum. She winked again. Dad winked back. Shiver me timbers, said Ben. I be off to sail the ocean blue in search of treasure. Good luck, said Dad. But don't you need a crew to man your very impressive pirate ship? Dad's right again, thought Ben. So we went upstairs and recruited his teddy, Junior, two elephants, Phyllis and Ellie, a penguin, Bella, and a floppy dog, Ferrara. It was a long and treacherous journey, with storms and wild waves, with thunder, lightning, whales, icebergs, crocodiles and sharks. Junior Bear was almost washed away by a wild wave, but Bella the Penguin heroically rescued him just in the nick of time. Then suddenly, Land ahoy! called Ben, for they had found the treasure island. Ben pulled the map from his pocket, along with a few biscuit crumbs and a sticky sweet. We head north, said Ben, so they marched past the mountains and the deserts. We head east, said Ben, so they marched past the swamps and the volcanoes. We head south, said Ben, so they crept past the dragons guarding the canyons 
and tiptoed past the elephants lurking in the forest. We head west, said Ben, so they marched past Blind Man's Bluff. And there, on the ground, was a giant X, just between the rose and the green bushy thing. A real X in his garden. Not even pretend. Ben looked at his map. He'd made that. Then he looked at his boat. He'd made that too. He looked at his crew. He hadn't made them, but he got them all off his bed. He looked at the X. He hadn't made that. Quickly, Ben grabbed his little spade and started to dig. There was something there in the ground. A dirty little box. He pulled it out from the mud. He opened the lid and inside were ten gold coins. Real treasure. Ben dropped his spade and ran inside. Mum! Dad! I found real treasure in the garden! Ben called. Really? said Dad, smiling. Did X mark the spot? Yeah! said Ben. Goodness me! said Mum, smiling. Are they chocolate coins? Ben checked. They were indeed chocolate coins. Can I eat them? asked Ben. Of course you can, said Mum as long as you clean your teeth. Pirates don't clean their teeth, said Ben. They do in this house, said Dad, and winked. Good night.